Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of SF2 molecule. It's a chemical formula for sulfur difluoride and to understand its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure of SF2 and the sulfur atom is forming two single bonds with two fluorine atoms but besides that there are two lone pairs of electrons that we have to take into consideration while we are looking at its molecular geometry. So the Lewis structure does give an idea about the arrangement of electrons and atoms but we have to check its shape to determine its molecular geometry. So if you look at the shape, the shape of this molecule is bent. Unlike other diatomic molecules which are linear, uh, which are linear in shape, th this one is bent due to the two lone pairs that are present on the sulfur atom as we have discussed previously. So whenever you are uh, determining the molecular geometry, you have to take into consideration everything, the bonding pairs of electrons as well as the non-bonding pairs of electrons. So here we are going to use the steric number to find out the molecular geometry, although I assume that the molecular geometry of this molecule is bent because it is quite evident when you look at its shape. We still will find the steric number and using this table, we will see if the molecular geometry is actually bent. So the steric number of SF2 will be 4 because sulfur atom has two lone pairs and there are two bonding pairs over here. So the steric number will be 4 for uh, sulfur in SF2 and using this table you can see that the molecules that have a steric number of 4 and have two lone pairs have bent or angular molecular geometry. So the molecular geometry of SF2 molecule is bent. And I hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.